Welcome back. In the next three episodes, we're going to focus on allowing users that are using our package to have their own fields. What I mean by this is for them to be able to expand our package and add their very own custom fields. Now, to get to this, we're going to do some refactoring up front, and then we're going to tackle that starting in part two. For the first part of this, we're going to take care of a little bug that we have in the extras field, which will set us up nicely for part two, where we start the refactor of our fields. So let's get started right now. In my post repository, this extra field is not quite working the way we intended it to work. Right now, the extra field will really only have fields that we've accounted for, and it will not have any fields that we are not accounting for. So what I'd like to do is refactor this into including every single field that a user could potentially pass in, whether they are explicitly handling it or not. So what I want to do is extract this into its own method. So let's call this extra, and I'm going to pass in the full post. Let's implement that, add that method. We'll keep it private for now. And what are we supposed to be doing here? Now remember that this post variable that we are passing in is the full post. Now that will include the extra field, meaning anything that got thrown into the extra because it was not being used, but it doesn't account for any other fields. Furthermore, it will include the title, the body, and the identifier. So we definitely don't want to save those as well. We need to extract those before we make this final attempt to collect any extra fields. So let's tackle the extra field that gets passed in first. Extra equals JSON decode post at the key extra. And we will have an empty array here so it doesn't fail. Now JSON decode actually gives me back an object. So I'm going to cast it to an array. And so we have our extra field. Now the next thing I need to do is I need to remove identifier title, body, and extra out of that post array. And I'm going to save that to attributes. Laravel has this nice array except it will take an array as the first parameter, in my case post, and then a second array, which is the exclusions that you want. And here we're going to pass in all the keys that we don't want. Like I said before, we don't want the title, the body, we don't want the identifier, and we don't want the extra. Now we don't want the extra because we've already grabbed it up there. So what is extra actually going to be set to? It simply is going to be set to a JSON encoded array merge of both extra and attributes. So to recap on this extra method, what we're doing is we are taking the post extra, that is anything that gets set into the extra field, and we're going to JSON decode that and cast it to an array. So what we'll have here is our clean extra array. After that, I'm going to take my entire post array and I'm going to remove the title, the body, identifier, and extra, and save that to a new variable attributes. In our return statement, we're going to array merge those two variables and then JSON encode the result of that. And that will all get set into my extra field. So that takes care of the little bug that we have there. However, right now it's kind of difficult to access anything in that extra category. The reason being is that it's just a big long JSON encoded string and we can't do much with it. So let's take care of that right now. I'm going to jump to my post model and I'm going to add a new method here, public function extra, and I'm going to accept a field name. So the first thing I have to do is JSON decode the extra field, right? And we know that because it's JSON encoded into it. And then I can try to call field on it. However, this may fail, right? Because I may be requesting a field that doesn't exist. Now, in the newer versions of Laravel, there is a new helper function that you can use called optional. And it is actually very useful in a case like this. So to use the optional, we're going to take this out and wrap it around optional. And so what will happen now is that this will try to fetch this extra field. However, if this is not able to happen, then it will not attempt to call that field. And so it will avoid the error. Now let's see this in action right now. I'm going to jump over to my terminal and in my test project, the first thing I want to do is run our command press process PHP artisan tinker. And let me fetch that post.
perfect and there it is and so we see down here that we have the extra field as description so how do we fetch just this description so here's how we do it using our new extra method we can call description and there it is now check this out if we call extra and then call something else that doesn't exist we simply get null. For the sake of argument, I do want to remove this and I want to show you what will happen instead. So I'm going to go back to my terminal, exit out, come back into it, and I'm going to run the same commands again. I'm going to fetch my first post and then I'm going to call an extra method that doesn't exist. And there it is. We get that undefined property. So that's the error that we're avoiding. I'm going to go ahead and put this back into the optional, back in the terminal, exit again out of Tinker, come back into Tinker and let's run that command one more time. Perfect. We get null. I think this is a better approach for grabbing any extra fields that don't exist. Rather than getting an error, we're just getting null back. In the next episode, we'll continue on this big refactor.